Detroit, the near future. Officer Alex J. Murphy and his partner, Ann Lewis, fight to rid the decaying city of the criminal element which infests it. After being mortally wounded in the line of duty, Officer Murphy is outfitted by OCP with bulletproof titanium robotic parts and with computer-enhanced motor and sensory capabilities. He has become the ultimate super cop. Robocop. And I assure you, Effendi, that these are the finest in my country's new top-line series. The absolute state-of-the-art worth an Ayatollah's ransom on the black market. <laughs> Wouldn't care to test it, Effendi? Oh, do not worry. These walls are soundproof. Sure, why not? Lightweight, smooth, accurate, and deadly. Bashim, you got yourself a de... You said no one could hear us. No one can. That is, no one human. He's not human. He's Robocop. You are all under arrest for the smuggling, possession, and sale of illegal weapons. You have the right to remain silent. Silent, huh? Let's show this ironclad freak some silent. <laughs> and discharge. The discharging of an illegal weapon. Okay, I'm silent, and not another syllable. And the foreign experimental weapons are now in police custody, out of the reach of the criminals, thanks to that half-man, half-machine law enforcer, Robocop. On a less optimistic note, the problem of teen gangs in old Detroit continues to increase. You two did a great job, but cataloging all these weapons is gonna take an awful lot of paperwork. And frankly, right now, I don't have the time to deal with all this bureaucratic red tape. Something bothering you, Sergeant Reed? More than just something, Officer Lewis. First off, I'm understaffed. Second, this teen gang problem is getting completely out of control. And third, there's... there's Dirk. Uh, hi, Unc. Ready to go, Unc? The game will be starting in about an hour. And it's an important one. Our school is playing against our top rival, Metro Sound. Okay, Chino, you're out of here. But next time, we'll get enough evidence to send you to Juvie Hall. Till you're old enough for prison. Who says there's gonna be a next time, Officer Russ, sir? Oh, the game. Listen, Dirk, I'm sorry, but with all that's going on, I, I, I just can't leave the station. On top of everything else, I've got to catalog all these experimental weapons. I'm really sorry, but you'll have to go alone. Russ, will you give my nephew a lift back to the Metro East boarding school? No problem, Sarge. Right. Who'd want to go with somebody like me anyway? Fighting Lotus is the Slammers. If not for those scuzz buzzers, us assassins would be top gang in this Metro Burg. But the Slammers outnumber us three to one. And they got more steel. If we rumble with them now, they'd zap our. Not if we zap theirs first. But what's that babble, Chino? You better not be jiving me, man. Hey, no jive man, JD. I know how we can zap out the Slammers. Like totally. Using the hottest bad zap weapons in all of old Detroit. The ones Robo Fuzz Glee. Yeah? And how are we supposed to get those weapons, brain boy? Trust me. Looks to me like Sergeant Reed and his nephew both have a problem, Murphy. Dirk obviously feels inferior because of his alleged handicap. But I understand, Dirk. That is why I must try to help him. Assuming, of course, that he wants to be helped. Just leave me alone. Aw, oh, come on, Dirky Worky. Don't be so sensitive. Tom and I just came over to keep you company. Yeah? Is this be kind to Invalids Week or something? <laughs> nah. I just had a thing for guys with winning personalities and distinguished walks. <laughs> Murphy, isn't that Dirk over there? There 
there were 51,337 traffic fatalities last year in this country alone. Be more careful next time, citizen, or you could be number 51,338. Wait, Dirk. I want to talk to you. There's nothing to talk about. Unc couldn't come, so he sent you instead, right? Can't blame him, though. Who wants a kid who's... who's... I came here because I wanted to, Dirk. To tell you that you can overcome your handicap. Yeah? Fancy words. But I'm the one who's got to wear this leg hardware. What do you know about... I know, Dirk. Look, you saved my life, okay? I'm grateful, and I owe you for that. But otherwise, just do like everybody else always does. What is out of my life? do for him, Murphy. I know. It is up to him to realize his own worth as a human being. That is something we must all learn for ourselves. Right, Lewis? Right, Murphy. Hey, Dirk! What's shaking with you, my man? Uh huh? Who's out there? It's Gino! A friend! The best friend you'll ever have! I remember. You were at the police station. Right! But hey, the cops said I was innocent, and I was. Why are you here? To tell you that you got more good friends, Dirk, who don't care if you got a limp or zap leg. Not like the scuzz buzzers here at school, or like your uncle. Yeah? And just who are these other friends? Come on, man, I'll show you. How do I know you're not lying to me? Hey, Dirk, trust me. Wow, I forgot that old Detroit used to have a subway system. Yeah, so did everyone else. But me and our friends remember and got to know every tunnel down here, every inch of track. Chino, you still haven't told me just who are these friends. Hey, Durkey, welcome to the domain of the assassins. The assassins? You mean the gang? You tricked me, Chino. And gullible me believed you. Hey, why the takeoff, Durkey? Uh, d don't hurt me, please. I'm handicapped. Hurt you, man? Why do we ever want to hurt a friend? But you're a gang. What else would you want with a guy like me? So we want to give you things, Durkey. Things you never got from that Laos House boarding school or from your Uncle Fuss. Things you always dreamed about, like notoriety, respect. And like being popular. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Durkey? Especially with films like Lotus. I... Yes, I'd like it fine. We want you to join us, Dirk. Become one of the assassins. After a little initiation. Initiation? All you gotta do is zap on down to Metro West Police Station and get us inside Evidence Storeroom. So, my friend, you're gonna be an assassin or what? Inside the police station? I, uh... I'm not sure I could. I know you could, Dirk. You look like great assassin material to me. Well, um, okay, I guess so. I'll do it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! It's amazing. I never thought it was possible. But an entire two weeks have gone by without my having to make a single major repair on you, Robocop. Still, perhaps a precautionary tune-up would... I tell you, nothing is wrong. I am just under a lot of pressure. Sergeant, you can level with me. Okay, Ed. It's Dirk. He's missing from the boarding school. He's been gone since early last night, and I'm worried. I'm afraid he's run away. Dirk's a good kid, Sergeant Reed. He'll show up. You'll see. I should have taken him to that ball game. You know, since his parents died, I'm the only family he's got. I shouldn't have let him down. Don't blame yourself. He's a big kid now and can probably take care of himself, despite his handicap. I hope you're right. And uh, thanks for the concern. You are really not worried, Lewis? So I lied. You mean this train still runs? After we fixed it, Durkey. Next stop, Metro West Fuzz Station. <laughs> Sorry, Dirk, but your uncle's not here. He punched out hours ago. Uh, he did? Yeah, at this hour, we just got a skeleton crew on duty. Even Robocop's asleep. Hey, that's odd, Dirk. You should know your uncle's work schedule by now. Uh, right, Lieutenant Hedgecock. I guess I should. Promise I'll remember next time.
You get it, Dorky? I, I think so, J.D. Yeah, this ought to do it. Hey, J.D., presto opreno. Can you brain it? Bust it into a fuzz station. Remember, your uncle's getting what he deserves for dusting you off. This combination had better work. There they are. That's the evidence room alarm. If there's been a security breach, my SWAT team will handle it. Clear what you can, then let's blast out of here. Remember the strategy, men. Hit hard and fast. They're kids. How do we fight kids? All right, kids. It's playtime. Let's test out our new toys. Get back. They got those new... Believe it, but Sergeant Reed's nephew is one of them. This will stop those fuzz buzzers. Time to blast out of here. We gotta stop those punks. If they get away with those weapons. Good. Like they just disappeared. The youths responsible for the Metro West break-in were later identified as members of the Assassins, the second most dangerous teen gang in old Detroit. Positively recognized with the gang was Dirk Reed, the nephew of Metro West's own Sergeant Reed. No way, Lieutenant! Stolen weapons or no stolen weapons, your SWAT team is not gonna march through the streets like Nazi stormtroopers hunting down the assassins. But, Reed, this is all-out war. Unless you're making an exception because one member of that gang of lowlifes happens to be... Correction. Suspected member. SWAT team intervention could severely aggravate the situation. I suggest that Lewis and I handle this one alone. Agreed, Lieutenant. Agreed, Tin Can Man. At least for now. The question is, why would the assassins want such weapons? Bet it's not to rob convenience stores. The logical answer, to war on their arch rivals and become the city's number one teenage gang. You mean a high-tech rumble with the Slammers? With those weapons, it'd be a massacre. Which is why we must go to the Slammers' territory and attempt to prevent this massacre. JD, please listen to me. You can't go through with this. Somebody could get... That's the general idea, Durky. If I'd have known it'd lead to this, I'd never have made friends with you. <laughs> friends? Listen, Crippo, we were never your friends. We used you so we could gleep this hardware from your Uncle Fuzz. All right, get ready to rumble, because we're rolling out to Slammerland. Hey, Slammers, where are you hiding? Under the trash cans with the other vermin? <laughs> I think the Slammers are overrated, J.D. Otherwise, they choke. Maybe they got feathers, Chino. Who let anybody drop on their scuzzed out turf? <laughs> your first mistake was strutting your assassin tails into a war zone. That was also your last mistake. And wrong, Creepo. You're the one who made the mistake. Assassins, zap them! You are in violation of participating in an unlawful assemblage and of the possession by minors of illegal weapons. I suggest you put them down and surrender without resistance, or else. Or else what, Robo-Fuzz? What's getting put down is you! I repeat. Surrender now. He's slowing down. The hardware's too tough for him. Let's give him the whole payload. Oh, man. You gotta stop this. You're killing Robocop. He can't take much more of this. I don't know where the assassins got those weapons, but if they can zap out Robocop, think what they'll do to us! We're out of here! Lewis. Lewis, I need... Need... Murphy!
Murphy, what's wrong? Murphy! No. No! I said I owe Robocop. Now it's time to pay him back. Huh? You got a brain sack, Crypto? Your weapons. You are all under arrest. I agree. I'm under arrest. Yes, sir. Take me to the can. I'm all yours, Officer Robocop, sir. You okay, Murphy? They stopped me for a while, but caused no real damage. Well, here comes our backup. But as usual, they missed all the fun. You mean it's all over? But somebody's got to cart these punks to their new concrete lodgings. Looks like no one was hurt. But what about Dirk? Is he... Dirk, he's right here, Uncle Fuzz. And he'll keep breathing long as you and your copper barbers back off and let me zap out of here free and clear. Dirk, this is all my fault. If I'd given you more of my time, been the uncle I should have been. Trash the soap opera, Uncle Fuzz. Am I out of here, or does Dirky do his big fade out? Just say the word, Sergeant, and I'll... No, Lieutenant. All right, you're free to go, but just please, please don't hurt him. Just don't try and follow us, and maybe I won't. We should have moved in on him. We may never get another chance to nail that gang leader. Never say never, Mr. Fuzz. JD sold us out, so maybe, maybe we should return the favor. We can help you find that mutant. Maybe you'll survive this ride. And just where do you think you could go, Mr. Big Shot Gang Leader? To the end of the line, Durkey. Out of this crummy city and away from the Metro West Police. According to Chino, those sewers connect with the city's abandoned subway system. The computers at headquarters should provide data on the subway. But those are just maps, and the subway system spreads under the whole city. That train could be anywhere. But electrical power will only register from one tunnel. Murphy, they're headed toward the end of the line. But that's been... I know. OCP is building a new facility there. That means that the subway track may already have been removed. It won't be long now, Durkey. And who knows? I may just keep you around for a while, just in case. No way, JD. The ride's ended here and now. What the? Give me that weapon. Over my stuff. Target triple. You jerk. You ruined the control of the train for a while. Nothing can stop it. We're going to be total. Oh, I don't want to die. But you can't do this. It's suicide. Wrong. It's my job. You're writing this out alone, Darky. His legs are crushed beyond medical repair. Then Dirk will never walk again? There may be one chance. Well, I've done what I can, Sergeant Reed. The rest is up to Dirk. Of course, OCP will assume all costs. After all, Dirk did try to save Robocop. Hi. They say that with these new braces, I'll soon be able to walk and run as good as anybody. Easy, Dirk. 
It takes practice to get used to them. Take it from me. Dirk, uh, there's a big game today down at the sports arena, and, uh... Let's do it, Unc. But soon I'm gonna be playing instead of just watching. You know what else? When I get older, I'm gonna be a policeman. You mean like Robocop? Sort of, Officer Lewis. But actually, more like my uncle, Sergeant Reed. <laughs>